Hi, my name is Jingxin Wu, and I am an, an art historian at Rockhurst University, Camden. I'm the author of Paro Modernism, Kokaharue, and Avant-Garde Art in Modern Japan, published by University of California Press in 2019. In this short video, I will briefly introduce some highlights of this book. Paro Modernism provides an overview of the emergence of a modern art in Japan, including watercolor, cubism, expressionism, and surrealism. Using the works of an avant-garde artist, Koka Harue, as examples, this book offers up a new framework for understanding the simultaneous emergence of multiple global postmodernisms around the world, a framework I call Modernism. In this book, I move away from the model of artists' uh, interactions that focus on one-way transmission or even moments of encounter. Instead, I show how modernisms in the West and Japan develop in parallel with each other. Sometimes parallel concepts and theories emerge in both places without direct interaction. When interaction did occur, Japanese artists often criticized or even rejected the European versions of modernisms. In other cases, they only accepted certain aspects and reinterpreted or reappropriated them to fit the local, social, and political context. Chapter 1 examines the development of watercolor from the late 19th century to the 1910s. At this time, a young Koga was developing his own individual style by exploring so-called Meiji Romanticism, avant-garde art, and popular art by artists such as Aoki Shigeru, Matsuda Keisho, and Takehisa Yumeji. Chapter 2 considers Cubism in Japan. Cubism faces harsh criticism in Japan because it was seen to lack content. Responding to this critic, Japanese artists add additional layers of meaning to their Cubist works. Koga's burial, painting in 1921, for example, depicts a funeral led by a Buddhist priest. Koga adopted a cubist style similar to Picasso. However, departing from Picasso's motif, Koga chose a religious mo motif inspired by pre-modern European masters such as El Greco Koga also sought inspiration from the uh, other modern European artists, such as uh, the sculptors Ivan Mastrovic. In the similar works in a Cubist mode, Koga drew inspiration from pre-modern Japanese Buddhist paintings, such as Nirvana themes. Chapter 3 turns to Expressionism. We see that in the early 1920s, Koga and Swiss born expressionist painter Paul Klee arrived at similar con conceptions about the relationship between artists and their subject, even though neither artist knew about the other. Later on, Koga learned about Klee's work and embraced his style because he had been dealing with a similar conceptual issue. Koga adopts aspects of Klee's style to new subject matters. For example, Klee saw out the primitive order in his painting, Kairoran, which was inspired by the landscapes he saw in Tunisia. Koga, on the contrary, use expressionism to celebrate modernity. For example, he used a similar style to capture the highly modern 
glass, steel, and concrete buildings in his painting, Landscape with a Bridge. Japan Expressionist and poet visual elements similar to those used by European artists, but these elements might be applied to different ends. Chapter 4 and 5 provides a detailed discussion of surrealism in Japan. Chapter 4 focuses on Japanese theories of surrealism, advocated by Koga and his contemporaries. Chapter 5 considers Koga's most famous surrealist paintings from the late 1920s and the early 1930s, and the visual source he drew upon. In addition, several of Koga's surrealist poems are translated into English for the first time. The 1929 painting, The Sea, for example, shows how Koga appropriated uh, various images from the global mass media, such as factory, submarine, airship, etc. The image of Hollywood actress Gloria Swanson likely came from a colorized postcard. Whether the founders of surrealism in France and Breton define surrealism as based on unconscious automatism, Koga and his colleagues reject Breton's idea. Instead, they argued for their own definition of a scientific surrealism that was based on reason and the scientific method. In this way, Koga's surrealist paintings spoke more to a boom of so-called machinism in Japan than Andrew Breton's ideas of surrealism. As we can see in the case of Japanese surrealism, even if visual languages might appear at the first glance to be almost identical to that found in Europe. Underlying concepts and the theoretical interpretation can differ significantly. In sum, this book used Koga Haru's work as a lens to shed new lights on the development of several streams of modernism in Japan. By just posing artistic developments in Europe with those in Japan, paying cl close attention to the ways they interacted, but also the gaps and the disjunctures. This book bridged the two fields of modern art and Japanese art. This book will be of interest of anyone wishing to learn more about Japanese modern art, global modern art, and how multiple modernisms emerge in parallel all around the world.